A tale of heroes for our two war heroes on their special day. A story of the secret language of the Night Runners. Praise, Praise to, to the, the Night, Night Runners. Runners! But we must remember the perilous life we lead. So this reminds us of the horrors that must be faced with the brave hearts of heroes. In the before, <laughs> the first year after the fall, those idiots! All is lost! If what happened? I'm a pauper, brought low by my own family. Who? Yes, my own flesh and blood have brought me to this dreadful state. My own kith and kin! How can they be so unreasoning? So beguiled by phantasms? Woe betide them, woe! Are you gonna tell me what's going on? My papa, my dear papa, departed this Vale of Tears a month ago, and his siblings, my loathsome aunts and uncles, I spit at them. 
went mad with grief. They traveled dark paths and found an infected with the power to raise the dead. Ever since, they've been offering valuables to the creature, beseeching it to bring back my dear departed papa. They really believe that? Yes! They think their offerings will make the foul beast grandpapa a new life. Seems people need something to believe in, whatever it may be. And what does this have to do with your poverty? It is all papa's valuables they've taken to use as their offerings. When I tried to stop them, they threw me out of the house. I'll have nothing left. Only memories of papa and a gaping hole in my heart. I'd go to that altar myself. Retrieve his belongings, but I, I'm a frail man. But you, you seem like a stout fellow. Perhaps you'd go there and retrieve his treasures for me. Well, if it means so much to you, I can try. Oh, lion-hearted. I will reward you a hundredfold. They make offerings in the evenings, so you have to go there under the cover of night. You'll find his belongings in willow-lined chests. You can wait here for the sun to descend from the sky. I'll be waiting for you in my crib on Lower Dam Air, on the garrison. The entrance is near the old hotel, by the canal. Farewell. E farewell. Is something wrong? No, nothing. I'm talking to myself, that's all. I, mean, I can see something's the matter, but okay. It's just, there's nothing that can be done. There are too many of them. Too many who? Renegades, degenerates. Six months ago, they kidnapped my son, Rook, and they forced me to produce drugs for them. I was the chemistry teacher in school before the epidemic. I held one of them back, grade. But what about your son? They're holding him hostage. If I'm late with the next batch of drugs, they'll kill him. Maybe what these bandits need is a lesson. But there's a whole band of them. I've faced far worse odds than that. I'm not a fan of kidnapping. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll try. Where are they keeping Rook? In a military building, overlooking the canal south of Muddy Grounds, near Culvert Island. The entrance is on St. Paul Boulevard, past the wrecked car carrier. 
Just be careful. I went there myself once, trying to free my boy. They caught me. Then later brought me one of Brooke's fingers. As long as these bastards are alive, they'll never leave us alone. I'll be careful. I'll follow you. Wait outside for you to come out. What's your name? Aiden. Thank you, Aiden.
It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. Haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. There'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. And they're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! What does it matter? Is a peacekeeper's life of less value? Listen, you arrogant little shit. Your people call healers like Margaret witches. People fear healers when they could be helping people. Then one wrong move and you peacekeepers are quick to hang them. So you ask if a peacekeeper's life is worth less? It is to me. Worth less, far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes. You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So, you are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well... Perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb, despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. 
decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks.
so bored. Shit post, man. You all right? I'm, you know, yeah. They injected that shit into you. Who, who are, who are you? Aiden, your father sent me. Father, ah, uh, uh, dad. You're out of danger, I'll take you to him. No. What? I don't need you, dad, or anybody else. I'm doing fine here. Give me a needle. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You've got all your fingers. The bandits didn't cut one off. So it was all fake? Leave me alone. There was no kidnapping, was there? 
You've been tricking your own father into making you free drugs? Get out of here! How could you do that to your father? Didn't want this, okay? It's stronger than me. And now what do you want? You'd rather stay here like this than be with your father? Rook! Son! My boy! Finally, I've got you back. What is it, boy? Are you all right? Look, there was never any kidnapping. What? It was all a show, including that severed finger. But how could that be? Rook, say that's not true. I, I tried to kick it. I tried. I didn't want to keep taking. Then I started getting high with them. When I mentioned you, they realized you were their former teacher and a chemist. God, Rook. I wanted to stop, to end it, but they wouldn't let me. I'm sorry. Come back home with me. We'll talk there. Really? After all I did? You'll always be my son. Thank you.
nothing to you. Please, let me go. Yeah! <laughs> 
Another of us has been taken. Karina was only 26 years old. <laughs> is about to I'm lose a few customers. And here I see oh, some strange did you hear? loitering around my Renegades place. attacked the canteen. I'll talk to him politely and he starts waving a machete at me. He pissed me off so much I completely forgot about the infected. Man. The little guy said he'd like a dog. Arrogant jerk, my husband and your brother says here you practice lower than you feel with a hang. He thinks he's so funny. Come on, I'm so sick of it all. I just might take a boy. Hey, PKs. get off the rack and help out. You don't yeah. pick up. They won't let him have a dog either. Maybe you're right, but the grass always seems greener, you know. Well, aren't you welcome as all hell? We shouldn't have made a case without a fight. What happened at the bazaar set the right view? Too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I run a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. 
Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to him to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. I never came back. And I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Oh, you're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. <laughs>